Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I have a project share and um, and a small tutorial because I created a bag topper and I had been wanting to create one for a while but I just couldn't figure it out and finally, praise God, he gave me the knowledge and I was able to understand it and put it together. So I'm going to share with you what they look like. Here are two of them that I created and let me take them out. I kind of just put them in a bag so they wouldn't get damaged because uh, I have a bunch of stuff on my desk and sometimes things tend to fall and get damaged or dirty. So here is the shaker, one of the shaker ones that I created. And to put the sentiment up here, I use the sticker book by, um, let me share that with you real quick. But any sticker will, any Christmas sticker will do this one uh, by the Pastel Christmas from uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, so I've been using stickers from in here for just different projects. And normally I don't do stickers, but for some reason I have been using those. So here, here is one of the bag toppers that I created. It is a shaker. So it's got um, sequins in it. And then here is the other one that I created again with that sugar plum paper that matches the, that sticker book. Here's another clear sticker and uh, the, and the hollies. And these little berries um, are actually these. My friend Jacqueline sent me these lavender ones because I didn't have any. And this paper has lavender and blues and pinks and greens in it. And then there's one with pink. So I was working with that. Then I changed my mind and I went a total different direction. Uh, especially in color I decided that I wanted to make some traditional um, traditional ones for some uh, happy mail that I'm working on and I love 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 the way they came out I love the dark vibrant colors and the other ones had less but on these I actually added more this uh, sequin mix that's in there has the little uh, peppermints that I created and um, and this is using the Prima paper from last year what was the name of that paper I'll tell you right now no. it was Christmas in the country the paper pad is Christmas in the country by Prima the paper they came out with last year and it's very traditional and um, what I love about these bag toppers and they're not very big but because it is an SVG file you can make it as big or as small as you want these measure about two and a half inches um, not including the handle just the frame and the holly about two and a half inches and the width is four and a quarter and after I had uh, put the shaker together I added the holly some little bling berries and a poinsettia candy cane, some little pine needles in the corner. So I added more to this bag topper than the other ones. This one has very similar. This one even has one of my little candy canes that I created uh, by with using that um, polymer clay. And then a little light, another little poinsettia and berries. And I love, love, love the way these came out. And I'm dying to share my project with you guys, but I'm not done yet. So I'm going to share the bag topper and hopefully show you how to put it together and why I created it the way I created it now, or why I designed it the way I did. You get, in the file, you get this one, and then you get this one, and I took out the cutouts from here. Um, here are the little cutouts from the paper, of course, they would be in here. And when you use double-sided paper, well, that can be the inside of your uh, shaker if you want it to be. But you just have to be careful to line up perfectly so there's no edge showing. But these are the pieces that come out of here. And I didn't throw those away. I kind of just saved them. Here's the main bag topper with the handle. And you can't see it, but there, there are the cuts. And it does have a score line and everything. Then this, uh, this is kind of like a little folder. It does have a score line down the middle. And what this does, this traps the little piece of acetate. And that's how I like to do my shakers because I'm not real good uh, making shakers. I'm actually kind of uh, messy 
when it comes to shaker so this works better for me and my work will be cleaner the other pieces that you get is this frame and of course you get the center that comes out and you can use it um, this piece is for only use for the people who I like to use foam board in between to make my shakers some people like to layer the paper to get it as thick as they want it uh, that's what this piece is for if you don't if you're gonna use foam then you don't need to cut this piece out but I left it in the file just so you would have options so that's what this is for this one takes the place of um, of the foam for your shaker and two if you were doing like a solid and you weren't doing a shaker and you just wanted a frame for the front of your bag topper you could just cut a frame with this with a contrasting color or glitter paper or whatever so you have options where you don't really need this one all this is is this piece plus another piece scored down the middle so uh, you can trap the acetate in it so you will have a cleaner shaker that's all it is and then the last two that you get are the layering pieces for the holly for the front and for the back so I did mine in the dark green because I wanted to look um, as realistic as possible sometimes I like something that looks whimsical and sometimes I like it to look a little bit more realistic now I already have this one pre-folded but I'm gonna fold this one so you can see when you fold this I don't know if you can see it but there is a score line right there and this is cut out and then there's the handle when you go to fold this you can see the score line better there make sure that you uh, kind of line this up before you burnish uh, that way it'll fold perfectly where you need it to be this piece also folds down and the handle I need a new blade in my in my um, in my brother's scanning cut so this folds down as well but there is a, uh, a score line there so you'll see it and this folds down then of course you would burnish this and there is your main piece to your bag topper now if you all you wanted to do was add another piece of paper you would just cut a rectangle that measures two inches wide by four and a quarter inches long and you would glue it down and then if you wanted to do a frame you could do this in glitter paper and just glue it on top if you didn't want to make it a shaker that's what that piece is for or if you want to layer several of them because you do want to make it a shaker but you don't like um, using foam foam board so I'm gonna set that aside because I don't need that one and we are gonna put one together so I've already got two completed but I needed to make two so I already folded and scored that piece this piece also has a score line so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this and burnish it and I already have one already but as you can see it gives you the frame where's my acetate sheet oh here it is here's my acetate piece you can't see it but you would add tape inside and then you would just put your little piece down and you would close it and you have a very clean finish whether you're using tape or whether you're using uh, glossy accents uh, I use glossy accents but you can use double-sided tape and and for this I'm gonna use double-sided tape so you guys can see how easy it is to do it using double-sided tape so I'm just gonna use some red line tape if I can find the end to it and I'm going to add a little strip I hope that I'm in frame just right close to the window right up to the window I'm gonna cut it there then I'm gonna add another strip down the side so all around the perimeter of the frame you're going to add your double-sided tape um, but you can use glossy accents if you like that's what I use mostly glossy accents but for the sake of this video I want to make it pretty fast so I'm using the tape so there is 
and I can see that it shifted on me see how there's a little space there I will add glue there because I want to make sure that it doesn't come undone and then I'm gonna add another piece right here so there are all my pieces for my for my um, window let's see I kind of broke cut off all my nails and I have a hard time pick, picking the, the backing off the tape but this tool really helps me so all I'm doing right now is I'm taking the uh, the carrier tape uh, backing off the tape okay by adding tape only to one side where did I lay here's my acetate sheet <laughs> by laying uh, putting tape only on one side I can actually let me clean this off I can actually um, use the side that doesn't have tape to line up my acetate sheet make sure it's exactly where I want it and then I just go ahead and close it and um, one side will be adhered so the next side will be very easy to put together that's one side already guys so if I wanted to add tape here I could do so again and close it up but for those of you who like to use glossy accents I'm just going to use glossy accents and I make sure I put it in the crease hopefully it's not clogged nope and this gives you a real uh, clean finish and it's to me my eyesight isn't what it used to be so it, you know I can get a little messy and here it is my acetate sheet is trapped in between my layers of paper and because it is you know um, paper sticks very well to paper it's a little bit harder to stick acetate to paper and and for it not to come off so by trapping it in between the two layers of paper it's less likely for our uh, acetate sheet to come unglued or anything like that so there's the acetate uh, window for the shaker bit because I don't do all the paper I don't do all the paper layering this paper layering I use foam board um, I just cut a window I cut my piece that measures four and a quarter by two inches wide and I cut out a window just with an exacto knife and that actually goes right there so there's my shaker part but let's add it to the topper so I'm going to add my designer a piece of paper here that I already have cut out and I actually did cut out just a scrap so I don't have to worry about this one I wanted the Santa to show so this is the one that I cut out and I'm just gonna glue it here and look it's not even straight but you're not gonna be able to see that let me grab some glue really quick I do have a bottle of glue here but it's the very fine tip and when I have a bigger piece that I need to glue down I like to use a bigger a bigger tip bottle like this bag topper is so easy to put together guys and like I said I think that it does do a very clean job I'm trying to make sure it's straight yeah so just make sure that you burnish that so it's stuck down very very well And because the handle it cuts out like any bag topper die you have you can actually add another layering piece over here to cover that you know to add to cover that piece but if you're going to do that make sure to take care uh, not to add glue to the the other the in my case would be the craft color you would only add glue to this section right here and the little half circle right here and then you would glue your piece down but I'm not going to do that. I'm okay with what I have going on. 
So now I'm going to glue down my frame. And I really like uh, the way this file came together. For some reason, I struggle with designing on the Brother Scan and Cut, but that morning, it just kind of came together. So I'm adding my frame, making sure that my frame is pretty straight. There we go. And because foam board, even though it has foam, the foam is in layers, is sandwiched in between uh, two layers of paper. So paper, like I said, sticks very well to paper. And I don't have to wait very long for for it to adhere. And, and the foam is kind of thick. It's almost a quarter of an inch thick. So your sequins and, every, and shaker bits that you put in there are going to move around very very well and if when you're cutting make sure your exacto knife is not dull see mine looks kind of jagged here it won't matter when i put this in place but um you know the neater it is the better it looks chances are somebody's going to throw this away anyway but okay and now i'm going to add my shaker bits i can bring a spoon oh i have one right here so I'm going to add the shaker bits to my I've been playing around mixing um, sequence uh, mixes because I'm not real good at it but I'm learning I want to get some of these peppermints in there I don't have any more candy canes I added them to a, a different mix Let's get some trees and some hollies. There's a tree. And I definitely want a star in there. I could continue to add because this is pretty um, thick, the foam board. But I'm not going to because I want you to be able to see the image that's inside. You know, And if I overdo it, you won't see the image. So there it is. Now all I have to do to this is add glue guys to not the part where the holly is but the frame in the back all I have to do is add glue to this and glue it down because it is from paper it's going to be glued paper to paper so it's not a big deal And because it is glue, I can actually move it around, make sure I'm lined up where I want to be. There it is. How easy the, did this back topper come together? It is super easy, and then you don't see any of the glossy accents around the edge of the frame or anything like that. I love the way that these came out. Okay. Plenty of movement because I use foam, so... Nothing's getting caught up. And I'm not going to decorate it completely, but I am going to do this little uh, piece here so you guys can see how I do that. So make sure you have the right one. There's one that goes to the front. See how this lines up perfectly? So this is the front one, and then there's one that goes to the back. And let me turn it to the back, and this one goes... On the back if you find that it doesn't line up like mine right there is not lining up it's not that it doesn't line up it's that I don't have it turned the right way when you turn it around you will see that it lines up perfectly so we're just gonna add glue to this and adhere it down nothing crazy just adding a little bit of glue I have been creating up a storm and I'm dying to share it with you all, but I'm not quite finished yet. So make sure you line this up perfectly. Oops. And glue it down. Let me open this up so I can make sure it's perfect. I'm sorry if the, the camera moves. It's attached to the table I'm working on and it kind of, it's a little wobbly. But see how that fits? That lines up perfectly right there. 
love it. So now we're just going to adhere the front. And you could say that this uh, bag topper is just about done. For the front one, I like to add dimension. So I'm going to add some pieces of dimensional tape. And I'm just going to cut a little piece here and there and add it. And all I do is I add it to the hollies. Just little pieces of tape, dimensional tape. I need one more. Ah. There it is. I'm going to take off the backing. Like these things are so easy to put together. I normally dread making shakers. I don't like shakers because, like I said, I'm really messy. And um, I don't know. I always feel like mine aren't secure enough. I don't know. But this one, the way the acetate is trapped in there, I really, really, really like it. So there is my... I'm a little off. I'm going to leave it. I am a little off because I can see a little bit of the white. Let me see. But you guys get the gist of it, of how to put this together. And that's mostly what I wanted to share with y'all, how to put it together. Uh, that's better. Mostly what I wanted to share with y'all was how to put it together. And there is my shaker, you guys. All I need to do is, is add the, the pine needles and the poinsettias and candy canes or whatever I want to add to the corner or on top or wherever I want to add it to. But there is my shaker. How easy was that to put together? Now, this uh, file is available, and um, I will put the link in the description box. If it's not there when I upload the video, when the video goes public, uh, just go back and check again because it will be up there. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day. And I hope this makes a little uh, your packaging a little bit easier because I'm one of those people that's really bad at packaging. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and stay safe. Bye.